Okay, please meet Russ. Russ says after six years with his girlfriend, he's trying anything to hold on to their relationship. Uh, Russ, what's going on? Uh, Jerry, we... Um, how long have you been with your girlfriend? We've been together for six years. Okay. I think she's sleeping with another guy. Oh! Not on our show. Possibly, it's Jerry. Possibly. Okay. Uh, why do you have this suspicion? What happened? Um, well... Do you they, know who they're this They're gone. Other... You what? They're gone. They leave. Who is this other guy? Um, his... Name is Steve. It wouldn't, it we wouldn't met him on a chat the line. The what? We met him on a chat line. You met. <laughs> we okay, met okay, him. Okay, it's not this. So you and your girlfriend met this other guy named Steve on the chat line. Right. And we set it up to meet him at a bar. Oh, so you were trying to set up what? A three? Yes, a three for me. Okay. In other countries, they call this a menage a trois. We are, okay, we are very continental in this show. <laughs> okay, so a three-way, huh? Jerry, we have two beautiful children together. We've been together for six years. So why would you want to do this? Because it's something that she wants and has wanted for a year and a half or two years, and she wants it desperately. So you did, in fact, bring for him in and you had her. a three-way. I did it for her, and yes, we did. We had a threesome. And then what happened? Well, it was supposed to be one time. Uh-oh. Um, that has carried on to more now. So you think he continues to see her? I know he does. I got a call from a friend yeah. who told me that they go to this park. Oh. And... We're back down to menage a deux. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So just two, just... Those two go, you're, you're back home doing the laundry. Right. All right, and taking care of my girls. Taking care of the girls. So um, there, and that's when you called our cameras. I called your cameras, and I had them come and get me, and we went looking for them. Yeah! Let's see the tape. There's the car, right there. Right there is the car. What are you doing in there? Oh. No! Oh. You go away! Why are you in the car? With him! Come on, get out of here! What is your you in there with him! Oh. You're my fiance! He's my friend! You're just being jealous! You're half naked in that car with him! It's a camera! No! It's Jerry Springer's camera! They came to help me bust you! What does it look like? Right! It's hot in here! Oh, right! It's hot in there! He's wearing a parka and you're in the <laughs> You started to Shut your mouth, Frank! Shut your mouth! No, you shut up, bitch! Why should I do you a thing? Look where you are! Look what you're doing! I'm not going anywhere! Come on, get out here! And you need to take that camera out of here before I break it! Oh, break it! Oh. I'm sure Jerry Springer'd love for you to break his camera! Whatever! Throw in your little you fit! You are so stupid! Oh, being Our family wants to know where you are, and that's stupid! Get out get here! Off my now! Will you go you away? Need to calm down! Get out here and talk to me! I will you calm down. Come on. Come on, Stevie. Unlock the damn door. Stop down my face. There, I touched your car, bitch.
because of me? Yes, because no, of you. No, I didn't strip the clothes off of you. I... Where's their face? Come on. I need a payphone. No, I need a payphone. No, go away. Hey, lady. I need a payphone. There's no payphone here. No, no, go away. I need a phone, please. There's no phone. I need to get Talk to me. Lady. No. You have no clothes on. What's wrong with you? I'm cold and I need a ride. And then we, you just caught them together. You can't be that surprised, though, if you invite a man in to your, into your relationship. You know, obviously she's going to have some attraction for him, no? Um, probably, yeah. I, I'm not sure what... Has, did, did, she ever, did she ever admit to this afterwards? After? No. So she hasn't admitted to having an affair? No. She well, says they weren't doing anything in the car that night, Jerry. So what was she wearing that teddy for? Exactly. That's what I asked her. Okay, well, I'll let you ask her to her face. Here she is, Shauna. Oh! Called you anything for a long time. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you sleep? Did you uh, have sex with this other guy? Yes, I did. Steve doesn't treat me. Like Steve doesn't put me down when he's in a bad mood. Steve doesn't call mommy and whine that I had to go to a hospital when I left you. What did Steve get you for your birthday? Steve doesn't have the money, but you know what? Let's not go there because your mom and dad have bought everything that's ever been paid for for me. Oh, okay. Of course they have. Your mom and dad support you in everything. You don't even have a job. I had a job until you ran off with Steve for two days, and I didn't have a babysitter to take McDonald's care of. You worked at McDonald's for three that days. That was a job. And then you quit because you couldn't handle working at the cash register. I quit because they cut my hours to nothing because you weren't there to take care of the kids. They cut your all right, okay. First of all, if you've been with him for six years. You have yep. two children together. Yep. Why, why was it necessary to uh, bring another man into the relationship? Because it was his idea. Oh, you've been asking for it for two years. I invited him to a bar for a drink. An hour you later, you have been asking brought... for a threesome for two years. Whose idea was it in the first place? Yours. No, it was it not. Was. Okay. Certainly was. Okay, but you both have to understand, if you invite someone else into the relationship, this kind of thing is bound to happen, no? Do you love him? I love him, but I'm not in love with him. Oh. Russ, do you love her? I love her with all my heart, Tell Jerry. Her. Oh. You don't know how much I love you. I would do anything for you. I am trying to change for you right now. I've done everything you've asked me to. Everything. 
Hmm, except for be less controlling, get a job. Be less controlling. Let's see. I don't want my fiance going out with guys to do whatever by herself. Hmm. Is that wrong? No. Now, let's see. We've been having this threesome for, what, two and a half months now, and your controlling's been going on for five and a half years? There's a little gap there. My controlling. <laughs> have, uh, didn't you have an affair before? Yep. Here is Steve. going on here? Okay. You started this whole threesome thing. You're a control Now that she's had a real man, she don't want you anymore. Now, if anybody's the you are. No. You son of a you're bitch, a you're trying to break up my family. It was, your home was broken way before I came along. Really? Way she before. was at home seven nights a week. Wilson, you sit around all the time and call her a, a fat bitch, a slut, a whore. What do you expect? What do you expect? Aside from your getting involved, I've been trying to change things since she asked me to. If it wasn't me, it'd be somebody else. Thank you. you. Know it. Just waiting for something better to come along. Uh, Her only problem is she don't have the guts to come up here. All right. Okay. You're just jealous, and my kids are just fine. I take more care of them than he does because he's always yeah. out doing right. God knows what. Right. I'm always out. <laughs> yeah, you are. All right. What do you want to say to her? <laughs> Shauna, I love you. You know I do. And you know that. I don't, I don't want to do this threesome thing anymore. Now the playtime's done. It's serious now. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, it's done, and you're gone, buddy. You are gone. Now, wait gone. a minute. This is my decision here. See who's gone, you son of a bitch. What do you want to say to her? This is your chance. Talk to her. Shauna, I really do love you. I love you very much. I want to be with you forever. Will you please marry me? No, 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 uh, no, 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 You've had me for six years and haven't done a damn thing to keep me until now. Whose idea was it not to get married three and a half years ago? Mine, because you weren't just like you're not now. <laughs> the only thing that you've done worth keeping you around is giving me two beautiful children and the fact that your mom and dad support me. So far, sounds like a pretty good package. At least somebody's been doing it. She's not going to be sleeping in a car in a park with me. Well, that's true, but... Yeah, that's true. You know, I'm willing to give up hey, some Steve, things. what'd you buy her for her birthday, dude? Have you got her a card even since then? Hmm? No, I haven't. Who paid for you to go out with us on her birthday? I did! You did, not I, I did. did. My yeah, mother I gave me the 50 bucks to go out to a bar and to buy for myself. You better think again, and your you... parents... Exactly. Your parents gave I you the money. had the money. That's your mom and dad, the point. as usual. Did he do anything for you for your birthday? No. <laughs> Slept with me. So, so did I. Yeah, but both on the birthday. Big difference, you know. <laughs> both of the. You slept with both of them on your birthday. Yes, I did. <laughs>
If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.